Hello, Paul here, and I want to show you how you can make smart objects even smarter and work harder for you, making your life easier. Now, if you're not aware of smart objects, uh, I want to show you what they are, but this PSD file actually has three different artboards in it, just so you know the setup. Now, uh, in these three artboards, I actually have this image duplicated twice, all right? And those are duplicated pixels. I don't need both of those. In fact, I'll throw that one away. Now, uh, rather than just having this layer duplicated, I can convert it to a smart object. Okay, I've converted it to a smart object. So now it's actually a separate PS. B file as it's known, but it's basically a separate PSD. So I can duplicate it, I can drag it right into here, and notice when I actually drag it in here to this artboard, it repositions it exactly where I expect it to be, which is great. Okay, now with these two both pointing to that same PSB, I can jump in here and I can decide, you know what, I want to flip horizontal, so they're going the other direction, and it's gonna update both of those. So that's smart objects. But as we get more complex with this layout is I have this top nav, okay? In actually all three of these various scenes, even in this first one here. So what I do in this case, rather than having all those folders, again, let's just get rid of those. Group and contents, it's just duplicated pixels. I update it, and I gotta update it across those three separate uh, layer groups. In fact, what I wanna do for this whole folder is just grabbing it, and this is how you can make smart objects smarter, just by grabbing it and dragging it right into your library's panel. Now I have this item called top nav. This is fantastic. I can drop this right in here if I want to, okay? And yes, I do have to kind of position it accordingly, but with guides, it snaps into place, right? So there it is, I no longer need this folder, I can delete that, and now for that top nav, I can duplicate it, bring it into this other folder, duplicate it again, bring it into uh, this, excuse me, artboard. And now I have all three linked up just fine, all right? And I kind of need to nudge each one over a touch. But now it's great, because I can jump in here, for this top nav, this is all linked together. I can start to take a look at this content. And in this case, I'm just gonna turn on this tips indicator. That's the only change I want to make. Saving that, closing it, I've changed it in one spot and it changes it across all three. So if I decide to change it, it's not only gonna change in my various PSD files, but across different files in other apps as well. And not only will it work here, but any of these items. So if I happen to drop in you know, this logo here, I can jump into the print ad for that same project, grab that logo, drop it on. Now any change I make to it, even across apps, okay, Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects, you know, Photoshop, you got it, Premiere Pro. If I decide to change it, it's not only gonna change in my various PSD files, as you can see right here, but across different files in other apps as well. Okay, so make your smart objects smarter by dropping them in your libraries panel. You'll end up with a libraries panel like this that has all of your assets, uh, and no longer do you have the need to hunt for files on your desktop that are no longer uh, linked back to the source. Uh -huh.